Hello everyone and welcome back to my Reborn channel. Today I wanted to talk about sleeper sacks. Uh, I actually bought this sleeper sack in Hawaii at Ross and I really loved it for two reasons. Firstly is the beautiful velua um, outside that it has and it's also like swirly and a bit damasky which is a bit hard to see but it is there. And secondly, it also has this gorgeous soft sheepskin um, interior, which I just thought is really cute. But I was just wondering about the whole topic of sleep sacks, because they weren't very popular when my daughter was a baby, which was 16 years ago now. They, you basically couldn't buy them. They're a lot more popular now. And I just wanted to know what everyone's opinion was with them. Um, I have, when I purchased this and brought it back from Hawaii, I used it like it was meant to be used and put one of my babies in it, stuck the head out, wrapped her all up, and like a little papoose, um, an Indian papoose is sort of the best way I could describe it from my childhood. Um, and I don't know, I just, I'm still not really sure about them. And then I just saw it sitting um, over there and I thought, mm, I wouldn't mind doing a video with this, asking everyone else what they think about uh, sleeper sacks. Now, um, and, I, and I thought, oh, I, didn't, I was going to actually put Everly in it properly to show you what she looks like in it, to get your opinion. But then as I was putting it in and I hadn't done up the flaps, I just thought, oh, this looks way cuter than when it's all done up and it's all, they're all bound up. Um, so I thought I'd just leave it like this today. But yeah, I just really wanted to get your opinions on sleeper sacks. Do you have any uh, um, or not? And if not, like, do you like them or not? And also, I'd be interested to know, like, with if you had a real baby, would you use them for your real baby? I, I personally wouldn't, mainly because, um, or if I did, it would have to be very, very fine cotton linen, um, only because my baby, when she was little, my daughter, she um, overheated, like, she was always, like, overheating, so... It's just was her metabolism, so I had to be very careful about what um, I put her in and how I dressed her and how I kept her room and all that. So um, I, I did actually use a sleeping sack, but it was very, very, very thin and we did live in a very cold place, so I knew she wasn't. It was actually to keep her a little bit warmer um, during the night when she kicked the blankets off in her room because it was very cold. We lived in Christchurch in New Zealand and I was scared that she'd get cold overnight. So it's just a fairly thin one um, and that I just use it for a short time. So yeah, what's your opinion on sleep sacks? Um, my dog's just jumped up on this so she's just sitting there quietly. So I'll just show her quickly. This is my little Ella. It's my little gorgeous girl. She's a Tenderfield Terrier and she's just She's always at my side, always, always, always wants to be with her mama. So anyway, um, so I'll just zoom in a little bit more to, for um, those people who wanted to see my Everly a little bit closer up. Um, she was in my Laura Lee Eagles collection video uh, that I did uh, the other day. So I just wanted to show her that a little bit more. That's her painting on top. Um, her artist, um, I'm pretty sure she was an Australian artist, but I do have a whole video about her. Her painting is, her hair painting is really good. Her, um, her colouring, as you can see, I had a comment saying how much she loved the colouring of my, um, Everly. Because she said she's seen a lot of artists overdo Everly, which unfortunately is the case for <clears throat> all of babies. Some artists um, just overdo babies and just, in my eyes, spoil them. I, I, maybe some people like them done like that, but I just think um, that this just doesn't look natural, you know. So even my mum, who she really hates, oh, she didn't say, I wouldn't say the word hates, but strong, 
Uh, she really doesn't get reborn. She thinks they're a really weird hobby. But um, sometimes when she comes to visit me, I'll ask her what does she think of my new baby. And any baby that's been, like, done, like, a little bit overdone, she always says, oh, that baby, I don't like that. But all the dolls that I have that sort of are like this, really sort of natural done, she will say, yeah, that one looks... Um, more natural and realistic so yeah I just wanted to uh, do this video today to show you the gorgeous gorgeous um, Everly and the sleeping sack so yeah I hope you enjoyed watching this video today and uh, until next time um, I just wanted to say for all those viewers who haven't um, subscribed uh, make sure you do I have lots of videos very regularly and um, I make sure if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up for me. And so I know what you're enjoying and can make content like more content like this. So thanks for watching. Until next time, see you later.